What do you do when you struggle socially and you can't handle friendships? We all struggle socially. <laughs> if someone tells you they never do, I don't believe them. I don't. There's certain situations that make everyone uncomfortable. It might be different situations for different people, but nobody just flies into a party or a networking event or even out to dinner with friends without being, ugh. There's certain cringy moments and there's nothing you can do about it. We're all just a little nervous because you don't wanna say the wrong thing, appear the wrong way. And that's why you have trouble with friendships because you're trying to figure out what they want in a friend. Stop doing that, stop doing that. I know it's easier said than done, but you've got to care less. You have to look out for yourself. Instead of being the person or trying to be the person they think you need to be to be their friend, don't do that. Look for people who care about you and you feel comfortable with them, you can be yourself, you can talk to them, they'll listen, they have your back. That's who you want in your corner, nothing else. And you have to be yourself. And the only way to find that person is to completely and utterly be yourself, who you are. Not, oh, I need to be witty and charming so I can be in this group or that group. No, 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 no not the right path. I know, easier said than done, but baby steps. And remember, if you have no friends, sometimes it's okay, and you have a bunch of acquaintances. I think we dismiss those small relationships, even though they're not small, the people that we run into during the day, the people who are part of our routine, the, the barista, at the, at the coffee shop, the, the butcher, at the supermarket, the cashier, just people that maybe you only say a few words to every day, but they brighten your day when you leave. That is really important. You shouldn't dismiss those relationships. And the people were, you're like, oh no, <laughs> I just feel terrible after you've left a conversation, drop those people. And just concentrate on the relationships that matter. And ultimately, you're going to have a handful of friends, maybe just one or two that you can count on. And that is great. You don't need a whole bunch of shallow friendships and you don't need to try to keep up with them. I think so many, you know, keeping up with the Joneses get caught up in that. Not a good idea.